Welcome to the highlights of the third One Day International between the Windies and Bangladesh in the IP ODI series, powered by Minister, co-sponsored by Marcel. The action coming from Warner Park in St. Kitts on a bright and sunny day in this decisive ODI with the series tied one apiece coming into this match. The pitch here at Warner Park generally has been a good one, but this looked extra special, very hard, very firm. And of course, you've got the very short straight boundaries here at this facility. On winning the toss, Mortaza, the Bangladesh captain, chose to bat first. Confirmation of the teams with the Windies making a couple of changes. Kyran Powell coming in to replace Jason Mohammed and Sheldon Cottrell coming in for Alzari Joseph. Bangladesh with their experience of Tami Mikbal, Shakib, and uh, of course Mamadoula unchanged throughout the series. We'll go straight to the top of the action now where Atar Ali Khan was with Darren Ganga. Good morning and a special welcome to all of you viewing, we're here live in St. Kitts, wonderful island, as we get set for the series decider. Opening batsman for Bangladesh, Taman Iqbal will take strike. What a wonderful record he has as a player for Bangladesh. And his partner, on the other hand, Animal Hack. They've given good starts to Bangladesh in this series, last one in particular. Animal was a little bit aggressive alongside me, Atali Khan. The new man, Shalom Cottrell. Starts with a wide. Yeah, runs. Nice looking shot. Punched away through the gap and he will get a boundary. Not a very big ground. This will be a welcome relief for Animal Hack. His first boundary. It's 10 without loss. Good shot off the back foot. It was uh, really nicely played. Not an easy shot to play. Uh, extra bounce also. He got nicely behind it uh, and then uh, hit it away in the gap. Well, he's been. Uh, Pulling down the leg side and he's been uh, picking a uh, picked up a few more runs uh, down the leg side. They should come back for the second. That's a longer part of the boundary. So it's good running. And he needs to get his line and right. Clipped away nicely. He will get a boundary. Diving effort from Karen Powell. Again, Cottrell straying down the leg side. Yeah, not good for uh, Windies. Very good for Bangladesh. Kami Mikbal uh, will happily take it away. He's uh, scored a number of shots in that direction. Better effort was needed in the deep. But uh, as you rightly said, uh, Darren, uh, too much down the leg side. So easy pickings uh, for the batsman at the moment. Very nice. Then try to overhit it. Was searching for more timing and he will get a very good result. That is a terrific shot. It was of a good land. It was nowhere near a, a half volley and hit it on the up, just suggesting how true this pitch is playing. Backing yourself against the bounce. That's not a bad delivery at all, but that is a terrific shot. A man who seems to be in a very good touch. Wow. High in the air, Kyran Powell is uh, not able to get there. He didn't pick up the trajectory, it would seem, as quickly as he would have hoped. That short ball works. That is probably what I wanted to see from Cottrell before. But it's Jason Holder to Animal who delivers the short ball with telling effect. didn't quite get hold of it and hitting into that strong wind coming out of the east just held up in the air enough for Kieran Powell to get under it 
quite get hold of it, but it just holds up, and Powell in the end overhauls it very easily. Holder picks up his first wicket. What the West Indies needed. Animal goes for 10. It's 35 for 1. The two elder statesmen at the crease, Shakib and Tamim, who played so well together. Very inviting straight boundaries here, but that was pretty decently played. The bat face presented all the way through the shot. It's over pitch delivery. And again, evidence the ball is coming onto the bat. Just hit straight through the line. That's as well stopped. Kimo Paul doing the business. That's a shot. Tammy Iqbal plays very well. Short and giving a lot of room outside that off stump. And they're loving it. opens the face and slashes it away yeah that's a delight and that is the area the batsmen like to feed to where it came from straight back past the bowler for a needed boundary it's just a very good drive a batsman who is in a very good touch. Shakib al Hassan plays. There's a beautiful off drive, presenting the full face of the bat. Anything down the ground just looks uh, very pretty. This time it's short again, and it's pulled that away. Another boundary. He gets going, Shakib al Hassan. So back to back boundaries for him. Jason Holder had a chat to Kimo Paul at the start of this over. And I don't think it was about bowling there. Yeah, more glove love with these two. And it's a lovely stroke, this. Races away with the breeze. And the small ground and the 50 partnership between these two comes up again. Yeah, wrong line from Bishu because there were two men in that direction inside the circle. The moment he bisected that, those two feelers, it was boundary written all over, right from the word go. <laughs> Couple of runs and another 50. Well played, Tamim Iqbal. And so they're not going to let him bowl to them this time. Oh, misfield. Come on, Jason. Not a good effort at all by the captain, Jason Holder. Especially when you're trying to contain these two. In the air. In the air. Safely taken. Shaki admonishes himself as he walks off Kimo Paul takes the catch wicket to nurse and a very good wicket for the Windies Ashley nurse breaking this partnership one would 81 created some pressure hitting against the turn was a good option to hit with the win but he didn't quite middle it he will be disappointed celebration from Ashley Nurse. Gets a start, 37. It's 116 for two now.
impressive. Mushbiki, Mushbiki Rahim comes to the crease, has played a couple of good knocks in this series. His half century last game failed to, to finish what he recovered and powered his way to a, a quick fire innings. Easily for six. Confidence. Mushfikur Rahim. He's been batting really well, imposing himself. A couple of spectators woken up from this shot. Nice use of the feet, hitting with the turn. Should be a couple. So easy to punish deliveries on this ground, on this pitch, when you can hit through the line. And why he can do that is because he's spent the time out in the middle. He's been there from the start. He's not taken too many unnecessary risks as a batsman. It's his time to cash in now. This is Cottrell's second spell, so he knows exactly what he's capable of. And he measures the boundary as well. Well, that was struck powerfully down the ground. Good pitch here. Just came right onto the bat and all he had to do was hit through the line. Yeah, this time it's Tami McBall who's uh, belted that one down the ground and a couple of sixes already in this innings. Also down the ground. I think that is a good ploy because that's the shorter side of the boundaries compared to the one on the square side. So they would be feeling a lot more comfortable. That's beautifully stroked again. Should be cut off. Ravman Powell doing the fielding. Good sound uh, once it's hit right in the middle uh, of the bat from uh, Tami McBall. Good work in the deep also. Struck very nicely. And he's looking comfortable. He's looking good. On to 79 now. Well, he's picked his spot. There's no one there. And it brings up the 150 for Bangladesh. Turning out to be a very good over. Clever piece of batting. Picked up the slow one quite quickly and knew exactly what he wanted to put it away. No fielders in that direction. Only one inside the circle. You've got to get it right, spot right, because it is a very good uh, pitch for batting. Tempted slower delivery there from Kimo Paul. Just pulled it down too short. Ball! Balled him. Walks straight across his stumps, trying to hit it fine. And leg stump hit. Ashley Nurse picks up his second. Yeah, he was eyeing to hit it uh, out of the ground uh, because it was short and it was down the leg side. And he got into a position, but uh, exposed the leg stump. Look at the, how far he has gone back. And he misses it, and it goes on to hit the leg stump. That's a big wicket for Wendy. He's a very important one. And it's uh, Ashley Noah who picks up a second. He's uh, picked up earlier. Chuck him. Now it's Mushfika. Gone for 12. Bangladesh three down for 152. Comes in to replace Mushfikur. Hey! That's through. Chris Gale and it'll go all the way. Run signaled. Getting two quite comfortably here. 
that should go all the way good improvisation from Mamadullah in the 34th over Bangladesh 169 for three well there's no one in that area and he's been eyeing it for a while as Tamim at the moment he uh, just trains down the leg side not enough just enough and he picks up uh, the ball very nicely off his legs he knows there's nobody down there but he's got hit that a long way and he's uh, gone uh, for the maximum 98 to Tamim now well done Dish. and well done Tamim Iqbal yeah second one of the series is fourth outside Asia and he has now scored more hundreds outside Asia than any other Bangladesh player well played to mimic Bal. not quite as slick this pitch but I tell you what that is a slick stroke and Bishop for Mumadullah It is exploiting those short straight boundaries again. Ashley Nurse, to his credit, has kept a full length. And it is imperative that Bangladesh look to try to, to shift into another gear. Run rate has gone over five and over now. That's very friendly. Yeah, Nurse has finished that. He's got two for 53 from his 10. Good hustling, good calling from Mamadula. Again. Ah! Oh, guess who's gotten the way? That's a good catch falling. Just talking about looking towards a team 300 because the 200's up. And Powell, who gets a game, gets a catch. You could see what Tammy McBall is trying to do. The Windies have not had a deep square leg for him. So he recognizes the two men behind square up in the circle. He swept one in Bishop's previous over for six. Tried it again. A well played for 103, 200 for four. Four down for 200. Let's welcome in the captain, Mushrafi Motaza. It's a lovely stroke given that he's cramped it yeah you see plenty of time to give himself a bit of room Murtaza that is cashing in back to back boundaries here and Jason looked as though he tried to go Yorker this time it's a good shot though gave himself that room you talked about yeah tried to go genuine Yorker and punished it Bangladesh need this little flurry previous two of us only gave them seven runs That's with pace pace has that factor and he's mistimed it but he's got it on the rope one bounce for four so we've had a hat trick of boundaries here geez I tell you what he's mistimed it that could have gone a long way in fact that sort of slot bulbish could have gone down the road down the street to change your length here simply too full that's where he's looking to strike yeah that's the problem he changed the field for Mumadullah yeah, I just like that third man. I think if you've got pace, you have to have a third man, Bish. Well, we discussed that. We, we said that the premise on which you bowl the full wide delivery is having the third man back. And I think before Kimo Paul actually bowled this ball, he looked at Jason Holder and he said, Skipper, can I keep the deep third man? But I don't think he met with a consensus from his skipper. Now he will get it. That's why he's a little frustrated there. He wanted it initially. Oh, lovely improvisation. Got enough on it? Oh, you betcha. It has gone all the way for the max. Captain. Little shimmy and rock back. 
pops it right where he wants to. Yeah, again, it's pace off, but look how he's got inside this, onto the off stump. Edged, and he will get a boundary. Pace on the ball, very unlucky for Kimo Paul. Well, you can expect this at this stage of the game. Was wide, not full enough. Not going to be having any slips at this point, and third man is wide. Well, that's going to go again. It's too wide from Kimo Paul. Yes, those are handy edges at the end of the innings. Gone. Chris Gale takes a simple catch. Jason Holder finally gets another breakthrough. The explosive Mortaza has to go. Well, he's been very expensive, Jason Holder, but finally picks up another wicket to just halt the momentum of this partnership. So, Ashraf Mortaza goes for 36 from 25. Handy, it's 253 for five. And that, that's going to be his 50. How many times have we seen him strike the ball straight down the ground? Power and timing. Goes on to 54, Mamadullah. Just have a look at this. His 1950 in his ODI career, Mamadullah. Straight on to leg stump and away it goes. Good shot from Sabir. As a right hander, you would also be aiming to leg, to hit with the wind. Cottrell getting too straight. That's easy pickings. There's no one behind square deep on the fence. Just uses the pace and helps it. That's gone as well. Slow delivery from Cottrell. And Sabir uh, picking it up early. 12 from 8 deliveries. Yeah, what we've seen from him is uh, a preference to hit the ball through the leg side. It might be a good option for Cottrell to stay over the wicket and angle the ball across the right-handed Shabir Rahman. In the air and taken. Evan Lewis takes a simple catch. Cottrell gets his man, but he's been expensive. Conceding two boundaries before the departure. You'd expect this at this stage of the innings. Just didn't get to the length. He was still aiming to leg side. And it was a wide delivery through that offside. He goes for 12, it's 279 for 6. Mamadullah takes strike. Nice shot, advances, gets the elevation, and it's a biggie. The Sheldon Cottrell bowling. A lot of slower deliveries. And, uh, this one goes sailing over long on. Uh, 
nicely played wonderful timing and he will end it on a high another boundary 19 off the over it's 289 for six that's going to be four he gets the gap this is good for Bangladesh he's just come to the crease usually it's very difficult to find the boundary immediately he gets one they will get there 300 make it 301 Bangladesh will be quite pleased with their batting effort the Windies on the other hand they would think that they would have let Bangladesh off there were quite a number of opportunities to dismiss batsmen with the run out option Jason Holder, some of his bowlers being a little too expensive. But it's a good batting surface. And for the first half of the game, Bangladesh will be quite pleased. Bangladesh finished on 301 for six. They got another century. Oh, number 11 for Tamim Iqbal, 103 to him. 67 to Mamadoula. That was critical to give them some drive towards the end of the innings. Two wickets to the captain, Jason Holder, and also a couple to Nurse. Nurse and Bishu, I thought, were quite good again, quite economical. Which meant that the Windies would need to score 302 of their 50 overs at just over six per over on average. We'll take a short break and when we come back, we'll have all the action and the highlights from the Windies run chase. Chris Gale, look at that record collectively beyond him the Windies players can't compare Evan Lewis the young took you would say he's been impactful in his short ODI career off the mark stretched a bit Chris Gale Chris Gale the power of this man makes it look so easy. His first boundary just gives himself room. And he looks like he knows exactly where that ball was going to pitch. He invited Mortaza to come to the stumps by backing away that early. Just tugs it wide of the man at mid on. Gets his first boundary. Yeah, you intended, I think, to hit it a little bit straighter. Yeah. And off camera, he was showing Chris Gale the inner half of the bat. It's that little cutter. The bat face closes because the ball hits off center. And that's why the face closes. I still think he should come out of his crease, bat out of his crease. Gale, his power, didn't quite look like he middled it, but it's got the distance. That's why I think Gale, look, he's a danger anywhere, but particularly on this ground. His ability to hit the ball straight gives him a significant advantage here. He hits it straight easily and with power. Blemish in the field. Chris Gale will get a boundary. Bangladesh were poor in the field last game and it cost them in the end. That should have been stopped. Gale, where does he go? Now take a little clip around the corner. Head to the score. 
he'd got pulled uh, most of his deliveries from around the wicket. This time around, he's gone over the wicket. Slow delivery, just got it wrong, straining down the leg side. Easy. Around the corner, clipping it away. And inside the circle, had no chance whatsoever. The boundary. Yeah. Oh, there you go again. Fatted it and some. Over cover. Brings up the 50 with a classic Gale bash. Nine down, 51 for none. Oh, that's a beauty. Wow. That is fizzed on, and he's being rewarded as the Bangladesh skipper with a peach. That's a great delivery. In the Goodland area, which is, has been bowling off. It took off. Good seam position. It uh, just moved away. And look at the way it goes. The reaction, good reactions from uh, Mushfiq Rahim. But an important wicket. Even Lewis uh, gone for 13, struggled for 13. It's 53 for one. So uh, just getting things underway in his uh, career, the 24 year old. Again, straining down the leg side. This time he's around the wicket, but it's gone to the boundary. He'll not be happy. Seven in that over. 60 for one. For him to do that, and that's a cracker. Really is. Easy as you like. Flat bat punch down the ground. Yeah, shots like this will come from the bat of uh, Chris Gale. Another flat, flat one from uh, the big man down the ground. Hit that spot exactly again, but it's 50 to Chris Gale. Of just 39 deliveries. 40 now, and will know that if he can spend another 25 overs there, he gives his team a great chance. We just helped that on its way. gone that's riding the win and it didn't need to probably the weakest link in the bowling chain in this kind of cricket mamadullah just pulls this one down and you don't bowl that to chris Gale. or that don't think that's going to stay with us. I think that's gone into the city. Launched it. Last scene, heading to the prison. Here we go! Oh, it's all over! He's done it again! Right on cue. Rubel Hussain has got the big fish here. Big blow to the Windies. Christopher Henry Gale. He will not be able to continue his innings. It's been a very good one so far from him. He'll be way disappointed with this. I think his intention was to hit it a lot straighter. There was pace off the ball. That bottom hand came into play too early. And just tugged it down to the man at lawn. What a wicket, important. Hidi Hassan, he's got a safe pair of hands. But Gale has to go for 73. It's 105 for two now. Ah. 
She Hope gets his first boundary. 34 deliveries. Very much on the slow side. Batting at number three. The important thing, he's still there. Can't afford to lose his wicket now. Nice shot for a boundary. Slowly getting into different gear. She Hope, his second boundary. Moves into the 20s now. Yeah, number three batsman must have the experience, you would think. The player, the context of the match to understand what is required in the situation. Very nice shot. Wasn't that short. Made enough room to get under it and to strike it in the vacant midwicket region. Well, shades of Sabina. I saw that in that innings of uh, 86 in that test match there in Jamaica. Swivel. Feet uh, just swivel and pop there. Yeah, it's lovely. Really is easy on the eye. Lovely shot. And Shea Hope comes from the same country as the great man. And if he can put his name in the history books, even quarter of it, he'll be pleased. Well, uh, slowly but surely he's gaining in confidence. It's been a very slow start for uh, Shea Hope. But oh, that's a cracking shot. Up in the air. This should be taken. Oh! Rubel Hussain. That should have been taken. Yeah, poor misjudgment. First from Hope and then from Rubel. Probably still a little bit wary having just finished a spell. Barely touched it. That one was short and picked away. Will not be happy, Shakib Hassan, but uh, Shai Hope will be uh, quite pleased to pick up uh, a boundary. Ah, Got him. The length of Mehdi Hassan. Look, he is excellent and growing in stature as a young player. His control is of the highest class. What an important and a crucial wicket. It bowled a little bit quicker and he cramped him for room. And looking to play it on the onside, just got on a little bit quicker after getting that ball pitched in the right area. At my goes, bold media son for 30. Windies lose another wicket. It's a 172 for three. far away from uh, short mid wicket but a half century nonetheless to Sheha oh gone gone for almost yeah. a mix up and the disgust on the face of Powell well this changes things drastically Powell just took off Single wasn't there and gets stranded. It was hit firmly. Yeah. Call was pretty clear and Powell just couldn't stop in time. This has changed the complexion of things drastically. Powell gone for four. Westin is now 179 for four. Rothman Powell give it some He's skimmed across the outfield seven off 187 for four He's standing on off stump there's a thrashing blade 
and an edge that races away to third man for four. Bangladesh were batting, it's batting on off stump. And just getting through that gap between the keeper and third man. That's what he was looking for, Rodman Powell, but this is Shea Hope. Massively needed with the 200 up now for the home side. Here's on this one is out of the screws. Finally, Powell gets one. He has finally got the length he could work with. Favors the onside, Rovman Powell. And gets hold of this one. And that is clean and crisp and gone for four here. Yeah, that couldn't have been more than 10 yards to the right of long off but was hit so hard good over for the west indies 13 from it 43 gone it's 224 for four goes in the air should be taken gone she hope well it was a workman like innings from him took a lot of deliveries throughout his innings finally it comes to an end and it's the captain once again a cutter he's been such a batting for such a long time this time he puts it straight in the hands of the, the experience of Shakib al Hassan hope goes he goes for 64 224 for five the power of Rodman Paul playing the ideal innings in the situation never too late that is a cracking shot it's the first delivery so he picked up a, the maximum of the very first delivery from Mustafiz it's a low full toss and sits in the slot and it's put that away in style Very nice, Rodman Paul shows his class as a young player. He's got immense potential. Contributed handsomely in that second ODI match where he scored 44 from 67 yet again on this occasion, doing the job. 245 for five. What I like about uh, Powell is that he just stays in his crease and picks up the length so quickly. He's a very quick quite clean to hit the ball and then hit it way over the top in the outfield most of his or have been expensive in the last two overs that he has bowled with that uh, single he brings up his 50 what an important 50 this is a uh, for Rothman Powell 251 for five he goes for it gets enough powerful stroke and finds the gap now that area is turning out to be his one of his favorite areas uh, the gap between the mid wicket and long on that is a cracking shot he picked up picks up the length very quickly he goes for it it goes high doesn't get the distance and catch taken He's such a good bowler under the circumstances. 29 in the last two overs that Mustafa Zuraman uh, bowled. And Mashabi Murtaza had no hesitation to bring him on from the other end. And he's done the trick. He sent back the skipper, Jason Holder. He's fine, absolutely fine. That is a big blow. He's trying to play a big shot and only finding 
Rubel Hussain. Superb delivery and a very good wicket. Much needed one for Bangladesh. Jason Holder goes for nine. Windy is a six down for 262. Oh. They'll take no problem whatsoever. What a delivery. But it's a boundary in the end. Unfortunate. He goes for it. First one. Six up. That's what they need. 22 more required from five. The kind of a start that the uh, Windies would have hoped for. First one has gone for the maximum. But Rodman Paul, he's believing in his ability. Holds his shape a lot better than the last couple deliveries and gets it 88 meters from the pitch. Bangladesh have done it. 21 and then lastly, look what it means to uh, Mashrafi yes, Murtaza. Yes, yes, Celebration yes. time for Bangladesh. They've gone on to beat uh, Windies by 18 runs and takes the series 2-1. First series win since 2009 for Bangladesh outside of Asia. Courtney Walsh, their coach. All the players will celebrate. The Windies finished on 283 for six. Chris Gale looked promising at one point as if he could take the game on his own. He finished on 73 of 66 deliveries before his dismissal. 74 to Rothman Powell, who tried his best towards the end, muscling the ball to all parts. Shea Hope got 64, but he will reflect that maybe he couldn't rotate the strike and score quickly enough in those middle overs. Mortaza picked up two for 63, key blows, his captaincy was also brilliant, a wicket apiece for Mahedi Hassan, he was outstanding all across this tour, and uh, credit to Rubel Hussein as well. So confirmation of how the third ODI played out, Bangladesh winning by 18 runs and taking the series by two games to one.